Ladies and gentlemen, we're joined with TJ Valley from the University of Wisconsin Platteville, who's qualified for his second NCAA track and field championships in the 110 meter hurdles. TJ was a qualifier and an All American on the indoor circuit. Talk about the hard work it took, you know, to go from the, you know, qualifying for nationals on the indoors to now to the outdoors. Talk about that hard work as well. Uh, there's a lot of differences. Um, one outdoor, there's a lot more elements they have to take into account, and outdoor, there's twice as many hurdles, twice as long. So, it's a little different. Um, I, don't know, I still I coped with it pretty well this year, other than last year. Yeah, yeah. Good. And then you know this year on the outdoor, you know Aaron was there last year. And then you know he, he's there this year with you as a teammate. Talk about you know how having that teammate to push, but also to encourage you throughout the process this year as well. Oh, uh, I like it a lot more because one, you don't have to warm up by yourself, and you have like someone you can like have watch you go over hurdles and stuff to. Uh, kind of get feedback on what you need to change during your race and stuff and one you just have someone to talk to like while you're warming up and stuff and it's not just kind of complete silence silence yeah. obviously you know, earned all american honors on the indoor goal the goal for this weekend is you know turn all americans on the outdoor circuit talk, talk about you know you talk about the elements you know talk about how that plays into you you know you're not gonna know what the weather's gonna be like until no. Till that day, so that, that that's one variable you can't control, but you can control. You talk about the steps. Talk about you know that that thought process as well. Uh, well, one, um, it's in California, so it's gonna be warm, which is good, easier to warm up in. Um, another thing is uh, it's hurdles. Like n anything can happen, really. One person hits a hurdle, falls, it changes everything. Like you can go from twelfth place to seventh or eighth place just like that, just for someone else's screw up. So that it. It kind of eases up on the pressure, but it's still, you have to bring your A game. There's a lot of camaraderie but, but among, and amongst the track and field program. Talk about just what, it, you know, obviously, you know, at the indoor, we had quite a few competitors there here on the outdoor as well. Talk about what it means just to go with just a, such a large group to have, you know, a built-in fan base, I guess, as uh, well. I like it. Um, it's kind of like, uh, we're all like a big kind of goofy family, I guess you'd say, for the track team. Um, Having this many people go is kind of nice because we all hang out and kind of just, it kind of takes your mind off of what you, you're there to do. Like kind of outside the track, it's, you're just sitting around and stuff. And if you have more people there to hang out with, it's, it's easier to get by each day, I guess you'd say. And then refocus when you get to the track. Um, obviously, you know, there's a, you know, there's a lot of strength in the hurdle event on the, on the conference level, as you know, it, you know, it's a strong performance at the conference meet, obviously, you know, with Mike over at Whitewater and a few others throughout the conference that have constantly pushed you, you and Aaron throughout, you know, talk about how that competition, you know, will make make nationals, I wouldn't say easier, but that just having that competition week in and week out. Uh, the friendly faces will be nice because all the other guys, all the other hurdlers in our conference I talk to pretty much every meet we go to and we all, pre we, we all get along really well. So having them there, it'll be nice because like, like I said about Aaron, it's someone else to talk to. Um, and we, we all like each other. We all talk. Um, it's, it's really nice and racing against them all, all season. It kind of, it, it does, it makes things easier because it's a friendly face, I guess. And then just talk a little bit more about that, 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 that family atmosphere. You know, you, you guys will get on the plane to get, you know, get on the plane together, go through airplane security and let alone, you know, you'll just co compete as a family. Talk about just that whole family aspect, how that, how that has played into the success of but not only yourself, but also you into your teammates um, as well. I, don't know, I can use indoor as an example. Like I, I know a lot of the guys. Yeah, I, I know them. They're like really good friends of mine on the track team. But like going to nationals, like it's a smaller group. You spend a lot more time together, and it's just a really good bonding experience. And like you come out of nationals, like knowing and like being better friends with those guys and girls that you did when you went in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we encourage you to check back as TJ will compete in the 110 meter hurdles, and the Pioneers have also have. If, competitors in multiple events at the 2012 NCAA Division III Outdoor Track and Field National Championships.